Hey, gun nuts, how you doing? I know you guys may be saying, where in the world is he at? Where has he been? I'm sorry, but I'm back. Um, what happened was, uh, started uh, working overtime right after Halloween and uh, just kept going, trying to get ready for the holidays. It's a little muddy track down here. I have to watch out for y'all can see where I'm at. It's my old dirty car. Oh, what is that? All right. So, anyway. Uh, I'm out here at the uh, property. The last video I did with the PT-111 G2 made a little bit too much noise. The way that property is set up out there, it starts on a ridge where you park at and you walk down this hill and then it's in a valley. That's where the range is. Then it goes back up and there are houses up on the top of that, that uh, setup. And uh, made a little too much noise with the dual wheel nine millimeters. <laughs> so anyway, I got another little property, man. I shoot at um, a friend of mine. It's uh, a little more homemade. Um, the other one was kind of more set up for shooting. But uh, this one, check me out. Yes, I know. This is not safe. They're not on swinging. I tapped them a couple of times. Got a couple of those. Uh, so for a little junk. I wasn't thinking about targets when I first came out here to shoot today. I was just uh, just messing around. But anyway, man, I worked a bunch of overtime. I'm a regular guy just like you guys. I work 12-hour shifts. So I was like, man, there's no way in the world I can go home and sit in front of a camera for right now. But anyway... Uh, this is probably going to be the property I'm going to shoot. I'm going to give you all a little panoramic. That's the target area. Now, I'm going to be getting some steel plate targets to come out here and set up uh, more safely. And So there, um, right down that way, there's that table set up. I'm thinking that is about 50 yards or more from this target. So I'm going to be trying. And then here's the back area. There's a... Oh, that might be all brush, but it looks like a big hump of land right there as a backstop. But I'm going to track back there one day and check it out a little further. But yeah, this is where I'm going to be shooting most of the videos. Probably when I start doing my training classes, I'm going to have a, a little overhang type situation over here. Um, drinks and all that other stuff like that when y'all come out for training and everything like that. The beard. <laughs> I look like a, uh, a gray bearded ball-headed King Leonidas, right? <laughs> hey, you you like Superman? You like Batman? I like King Le Leonidas, you know? Superheroes. But anyway, um, yeah, it started out as a uh, no-shave November. Remember, during, right after Halloween, I started working a lot. So, uh, no-shave November, then it turned into uh, don't shave December, and then it turned to just leave it alone January. So I've had it trimmed up and shaped up a little bit. My wife hates it. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to give you all a little tour. I'm about to do some shooting out here. I've popped off a couple of rounds just to make sure that uh, I forgot to mark where my stance was. But just to make sure that shooting at those uh, steel plates, I wasn't going to get any ricocheting or anything like that. Which I might see if I can get somebody to cut those bad boys off and I can hang them. Just for now, too. We get some things coming. Uh, to assist with all of that, I know last time I gave y'all guys an update, I was saying that um, I wanted to get some t-shirts made. Well, I went back and forth with myself. Am I going to do the t-shirts myself? Pay somebody locally? Do the drop shipper online? Uh, how? So, as you know, with uh, a lot of the bigger channels, you know, they are all going to Patreon because of the... Um, monetization issues with YouTube um, I don't feel like I'm a big enough channel to worry about stuff like that so um, I'm gonna set up a dropship store on Shopify I've also been working on some back-of-the-scenes things legal paperwork and everything like that so um, get the store set up on Shopify that'll help me come out here and set this range up nice for you guys oh man 
there were some hogs over there. And I heard them move just now. Like, I was like, yo, what is that? I don't have anything loaded up out here. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, let's just get this range set up so we can uh, come out here and do some good videos. Uh, my training classes. That table right there. I don't know what that, how many, I need to measure this place, man, so I can see what my shooting distances are and everything like that. Um, also, the guy that owns this property told me don't worry about that neighbor right there. He told him already that I'm coming out here to shoot, so I don't have to worry about disturbing anybody like we did at the other place. But I missed you guys, man. Um, I've been getting overwhelming love uh, from you guys on my videos. Um, I did post a video on the uh, CZ P07 duty. Uh, just the other day, I know we've had a lot go down. Uh, we've had two major, um, you know, gun incidents where the Texas and the Las Vegas issues, uh, legislation, you know, that dirty word gun control came back out, of course, uh, wanting to uh, check your gun rights and stuff like that. Uh, as Hickok 45 says, I'm doing some pot smoking today. I'm going to be shooting at the pot there, too. Clay pots. Anyway, um, uh, what else have we had? We've had a uh, happy Halloween, uh, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all little things that I missed uh, from you guys. Uh, gun legislation, uh, HR 3999 is uh, what they were trying to come out for the bump stocks. I got some uh, things I'm going to show you guys. Hopefully, some of these anti gunners. We'll see some of these videos and know that it's not the device, it is the individual that they need to pay attention to. And, um, you know, the guy should have been checked. I mean, that's all I can say about that. But anyway, uh, HR 3999, then we've had HR 38, which is the uh, recipro reciprocity um, of your concealed carry license. The concept being, if I can drive from Virginia to California and all states in between will honor my driver's license. What's the difference between honor and my concealed carry permit? So makes sense to me. Why should your geographic location limit the ability to protect yourself? You understand? Oh, check me out. Got some new gun shirts that uh been networking, man. I went to the gun show. You know what I mean? Oh, and I also got a treat for you guys. I'm going to do a video here for the <laughs> the uh, P, uh, PT-111G2. I have a 20-round SIG P226 magazine by Metgar. That was about $39.99. I'm going to put the link in the uh, description to the, the place where I got them at. And also from the same place for, I think this was like 25 bucks or so. Um, it's the SIG P226 uh, 32 round magazine. So I'm going to be uh, running both of those today. Running some rounds through them and see how they perform. Uh, I'll let you guys know that for your uh, PT111 G2, you have an extended uh, option. I'm going to be shooting... Uh, I'm going to run some personal defense rounds through there today because I want to see how this gun will handle them. I have never shot, um, can, you know, personal defense rounds. I carry them, but I haven't shot them. Also, I got the uh, Federal Brass, just some leftover stuff that I did from the last shot, shoot. Uh, one of my um, Secret Santas uh, gave me this as um, a Secret Santa gift. Uh, some people we exchange gifts with in the neighborhood where I live at. And it's funny, man, because it's like crazy when your secret Santa knows that you're a gun nut. Love y'all, man. Thank you. And also, um, some, uh, just a mixture of the Winchester, uh, steel case, white box ammo, some tool ammo, and the regular Winchester brass case. Um, uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to talk about, man, is, um, I've been getting overwhelming love, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. And I want to say thank you, man, because I did get a few haters, which is, which is cool, you know, because I got mad and I was like, Lord, they're hating on me. You know, I'm going to say something. And, and God was like, nah, 
You know what I'm saying? They necessary. You need haters. That lets you know that you're making progress. And plus, man, I'd rather shine on the people that show me love. I want to show them love back. So I want to say thank you to everybody that hit me up on Instagram, Facebook. My Twitter doesn't pop too much, but if you hit me up on anywhere and you said something positive or, you know, just gave me motivation, I really appreciate you. And I want to give you motivation back. A lot of y'all expressed to me that you want to start channels, that you want to... Um, you know, do whatever you do in the gun industry. I got a friend, uh, I met a friend on Instagram that does <clears throat> uh, custom uh, frame modifications for like Glocks, you know, stippling and stuff like that. So um, I definitely was going to send a, uh, one of my Glocks to him to have a stipple job, get the uh, finger, grease, finger grooves removed and stuff like that. And then I'll give you all some of my opinion on why I'm doing that to my Gen three and four Glocks instead of going out to buying a Gen five Glock. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you guys support me. I support you. I'll stand behind you. I'll subscribe to you. Um, whatever we got to do to, uh, help make this movement bigger and do what we're doing. But I just want to say thank you guys. God bless you. And, uh, happy shooting.